Hey, what's up guys? Uh, hope you guys have been well. Uh, today is a back issue haul. Uh, I went to a comic book shop at a flea market uh, over the past, this past weekend and wanted to show you guys what I got. So, um, it's been a while and I'm still collecting comics. Um, you know, all that, all that stuff, you know, uh, I've been reading some new stuff as well, just really doing a lot of catching up. Um, that's really why I haven't really made a video, just because I'm still kind of getting back into the swing of things with, with comic books, and there's just so much. Uh, I've just been reading a lot. <laughs> uh, so, um, yeah, so I went to this uh, comic book shop. It had like 50 cent, dollar, two dollar bins, and. Um, just wanted to see what I could find. Uh, I'm really my mission was to find um, some obscure stuff, and I'll you know the first thing I'll show kind of sets the tone of what my uh, haul was was like. Um, you know I was collecting a lot. I, I wanted to find a lot of um, you know some really good art from artists like uh, you know some of the early stuff black and white stuff um, so yeah let's let's just jump right in and I hope you guys appreciate my backgrounds it's my kitchen um, it's good lighting right now so want to take advantage of that <laughs> uh, so first thing I picked up was uh, this uh, history book of Japanese comics it's called manga manga the world of Japanese comics um, this was by Frederick Schott uh, forward by Asuma Tetsuka and I think this was, book was made in the 80s um, from what I learned that this book was kind of the the one of the one of the many reasons how like Japanese comics made it to America um, and this is kind of a history book of you know the early times all the way to present time in this in this book was which was in the 80s uh, so I've been reading a little bit of it super fascinating um, really just I just like how they give you with all the text they give you some examples and stuff which is pretty cool um, you know so I'm excited to dive into it uh, also it has some pages from from different manga I think there's like 96 pages from different manga books or manga titles and stuff so uh, yeah it's really if you're a fan if you're a fan of manga I mean this is kind of a it's, um, sounds like this is like a, a central read so I'm I'm probably like 50 60 pages in and you know I, I've been enjoying it um, I think I'm at the I'm I'm pretty much at the early stages where it was like the earliest works of manga how you know um, back in like the 1800s, stuff like that. All right, so let's get to the actual comic books. Um, you know, I really, this was very, uh, um, I just wanted to find stuff that I was interested in. Uh, again, good art and some manga. Uh, so found some stuff and uh, here we go. Uh, first is Heroes for Hope, starring the X-Men. It's a one shot. Um, that back cover looks cool too. Uh, uh, covers by Arthur Adams. I just re I, I really wanted it for the just the whole bunch of creators that are on here. I mean, you have like writing, and I think they did two two to three pages a piece. So it's like forty eight pages, and you have writers like you know Stan Lee, uh, Alan Moore, Anna Senti, Chris Claremont. Uh, there's a two pages with Stephen King and Bernie Wrightson story or like you know two pages uh, artists like Ramita Jr. Basema, John Byrne, Richard Corbin, Frank Miller, Steve Rude so this was this was a cool um, a cool comic book just a collection of great writers artists inkers like just you know and I haven't read it yet but you know, definitely, definitely worth your money right here. I mean, just to get that type of content. 
in that book. Uh, next is Shaolin Cowboy, Who Will Stop the Rain? I got the first three issues. It's by Jeff Darrow and Dave Stewart. Um, Jeff Darrow is, I, I've heard of him, but I really haven't um, read, uh, I haven't read any of his stuff, but I've seen some, some art by him, and it's, uh, I don't understand why I wasn't into it, because <laughs> it looks so cool. Um, so, so yeah, I got issue one, issue two, and issue three. So, I haven't read the first volume, and I think I'm missing one issue from this one, so I'll see if I can find that. Uh, next, this is some, this is some obscure stuff, uh, it's by Fancy Graphic Books. It's called the Doomsday Squad. And this is, has art by John Byrne. Um, this is issue two. Uh, this was created in 1986 and story by Joe Gill. And I kind of flipped through it and I was like, wow, this is great. This is cool John, John Byrne art. Um, who inks this? Colored by Mark Wheatley and Catherine Mayer. Not familiar with that, but they, I think they do a pretty good job on, on his art. Um, so yeah, this is only like 50 cents, so I want to check that out. Uh, this one was by Dark Horse, Dark Horse Comics. Uh, it's actually an anthology uh, called, Sh I'm probably going to butcher it, Cheval Noir. And the reason why I got this is, probably look from the cover, that's a Mobius right there. And there's a all new story by Mobius called The Man from Siguri. So want to check that out for a dollar. He's got some other artists in here too. Um, really cool stuff. Um, I haven't I just kind of flipped through it and I was just like, wow, this is this is cool. Um, I've been really wanting to pick up I've been really wanting to try uh, try to get some black and white comics. Um, so this was just, you know, this is what I needed. Uh, and this man from Siguri uh, had some, like, notes in here. It's a, uh, it's, a, it's sort of a sequel to the Airtight Garage, which um, I don't know much about Mobius. Um, like, I just know some of his mainstream stuff. Um, so I guess it's, it's saying that this was his best known graphic novel. So this was a couple pages. I think it was like just three. Yeah, three pages. Three pages of Mobius. So want to check that out. And then uh, here's a couple of manga stuff. Um, I really didn't. I, I really was just since it was so cheap. I was like, let me just. If I flip through it and I find it interesting, I'm gonna pick it up. So that was kind of like my. I didn't want to just box myself into something that I'm not really too familiar with. I just wanted to just grab anything and everything I could about um, from like manga and, the, and coming to America and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, there's some, there some cool stuff in here. So we'll start with this one. And if I butcher some of these names, I do apologize. Also the title as well. Uh, it's from Hirohito Araki. This is issue one of Bow. Uh, I like the cover. Um, this is the this is the main character. Um, this is by Shushia and Viz Comics. Um, so I just picked it up because it has a lot of, you know, I like the black and white, um, and you know, it has a lot of action. So I was like, oh, this is interesting. Um, I think this only went a couple issues. But, you know, I want to check it out. Uh, this next one, Metal Guardian Faust. It's by Tetsuro Uyama. This is issue three. It's by Viz Manga Heroes. This is the back. Um, the hero with a head of metal, but a heart of gold. I mean, yeah, sign me up for that. Um, so, so, yeah, some art. Looks cool. Been really digging the manga style. Like I'm just, I'm just really, am, am 
fascinated by it. I want to learn more. I want to read everything. I'm just that. That's the kick I'm on right now. Um, so yeah, uh, this one. Uh, this one is pretty famous. I I, I knew about this one um, and to find uh, find a couple issues there. I kind of just picked up the earliest one I could find and then uh, if I really liked it. Um, I'll just pick up the rest of the issues. They didn't have a complete run, just some, just some later issues. Uh, so this is Lone Wolf and Cup. Uh, this is issue six uh, by Kazuyo Koji and Goseki Kojima. Uh, introduction by Frank Miller. And I think he does all the introductions or something like that. Uh, but I read this and I was just like, yes, I, I'm definitely gonna find the issues definitely gonna collect this this looks great like um, this was the issue where uh, stuff goes sideways for for our main character and yeah this is 72 72 pages of just just goodness man like uh, and um, I saw I, I wanted to see if it would, if they had the book at, in hoopla in the hoopla app and they did. So I have the first volume. I haven't read it yet, but I wanna I wanna collect the singles and and you know check it out and, and read it you know uh, digitally. Um, so so yeah. Uh, another one. <clears throat> another one I picked up was Blade of the Immortal. This was a one shot. Um, this is issue one twenty seven by Hiroki Samura, uh, Dark Horse manga. So I uh, wanted to check that out. I read it. I was kind of confused, but it was a one shot, and I was. It got. I got a complete story out of it, so uh, I do want to pick up more. They had some more at the shop, so um, I'll see if I can find like a full arc and, and read through that. And finally, I got five issues of this. Um, this was one of the first things I found when I went to the shop, and I was like, "All right, hopefully I can find the rest of this." And I found uh, this is book two, volume one. And I got the first five. Uh, I got the five issues of book two. So this is by Ma Masamune Shiro. It's called Appleseed. And from what I learned as well as Art Adams covers, cover cover paintings by Art Adams. And this guy, I looked up some information on him because I was like, oh, this is the first thing I saw, and I was like, let me see where, what he did, what he did, and he created uh, Ghost in the Shell. So. This was from Studio Protis, um, and then I guess this was published through Eclipse. Um, but yeah, I read the first, the first, uh, the first this this first issue, and I I, I liked it. Um, I need to find the first volume. I think there's like three or four books, three or four volumes of this story. Um, so yeah, want to see that? So I got. This is issue three. I just love the covers. The covers are sweet, and like the font, the font of the of the title is just so cool. And as like I just noted, like I just noticed, like it has an apple up on top of the A. And this is book two, like issue two, I think. So yeah, so yeah, those are all the stuff I got <laughs> um, at the shop. Um, that's really like my focus right now is um, I'm picking up manga stuff and catching up on 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 stuff like on stories and finding good art stuff like that. It's just very wide ranging, you know. Um, once you've been away from something like a hobby, you kind of just want to just absorb as much as you can, you know. Um, so yeah, uh, and. Finally, um, I, I've been, uh, the reason why I've been really making videos is I've been, um, I've been, uh, <laughs> I, I've been making a podcast. So, uh, pretty much we are five episodes in, um, it is called Stuck in the Phantom Zone. It's kind of like a pop culture podcast. Um, this the last episode I made was, or I, I, I did was about comics. So it was like a solo episode where I was talking about what I've been picking up, 
you know, what my origin story was with, with collecting comics and, and all that. So, um, so yeah, I've been doing that, um, with my friends and, um, you know, it's something I'm pretty passionate about. Like I've always wanted to try to do a podcast and, uh, yeah. So I hope you guys, if you have time, check it out. Uh, we're on all platforms. Um, I'll put the information down in the description below. Um, so you guys can check it out. Any feedback would be great. Um, and I do want to make more videos. Um, hopefully this video is the start of something. <laughs> so hopefully I won't have to come back another two months or something, but I'm still here making stuff, reading stuff. Yeah. And living life. <laughs> so, all right. So I'm going to end it here. Thank you guys for watching and I will talk to you guys next time.